गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स स्टूडेंट्स इन प्रीवियस चैप्टर्स वी हैव लर्न अबाउट कंप्यूटर वी ऑल्सो लर्न अबाउट द पार्ट्स ऑफ कंप्यूटर राइट इन विच वी हैव लर्न अबाउट मोनिटर सी पी यू की बोर्ड एंड माउस दीज आर द फोर मेन पार्ट्स ऑफ कंप्यूटर राइट सो स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस चैप्टर नंबर फोर वी विल लर्न अबाउट द कंप्यूटर माउस सो लेट स्टार्ट स्टूडेंट्स हैव यू एवर सीन अ माउस द रियल माउस येस इट इज अ स्मॉल एनिमल इट हैज अ टेल एंड इट रन वेरी फास्ट वी ऑल नो राइट सो हाउ एवर you will now learn about a computer mouse that is very different from the real mouse okay so does a real mouse help you in working on a computer no the real mouse can't help us to work on a computer right so do you know that there is a mouse which could help you in learning yes it is a computer mouse right so let's start with computer mouse so students if you look carefully in the right side picture the shape of computer mouse looks like a real mouse see it has a tail like a wire you can see that right it is attached to the cpu which is called the brain of the computer through a this wire okay so students let's read about mouse buttons so mouse buttons have mouse have two buttons a computer mouse has two buttons some computer mouse also have a scroll wheel you can see in the figure at the center here is a scroll wheel which rotates the computer screen's page okay these buttons the left button and the right button help us to work on computer okay so students the scroll wheel lets you move a page up and down on the monitor see here is a wire attached with mouse which then connected with the cpu right and here is left button and this is right button and the scroll wheel okay so students moving a page up and down on the monitor screen is called scrolling means rotating okay so let's read about mouse pad why we use mouse pad because mouse pad help us to work smoothly and move the cursor smoothly yes so let's read it is a good practice to keep a computer mouse on a pad this pad is known as a mouse pad you can see here the black color mouse pad right it help us to move the mouse smoothly okay see here the black color mouse pad yes so now let's learn about how to hold a mouse students there is a particular way that how to hold a mouse okay so let's learn about it see here see here the index finger which i have circled this is your index finger you have to place the index finger on the left mouse button okay now see here is the middle finger which we have to place on the right mouse button and the rest of the fingers and our palm we 
used for the holding of mouse so students this is how we hold the mouse but the above picture shows how a right handed person holds a mouse let's us now learn how to hold a mouse with a left handed person look at the picture below yes place the index finger on the right button and put the middle finger on the left button okay rest of your palm and fingers on the mouse you will hold the mouse with your thumb and rest of the fingers okay so students what it means that a normally a right handed person holds the mouse like the picture above have shown but sometimes some persons uh, use left hand to write and to hold a mouse and other things so this is how we can hold with the left hand okay so students in next next lecture we will learn about the mouse pointer and the rest of the chapter okay so till then take care and also if you have any query you can ask me anytime okay so students till then bye bye thank you